Hey guys, Ajax22 here, and uh, doing some work on the Furiosa SKS. So, um, yeah, a couple of, couple of new components came in. As you can see, uh, we've fitted it with a uh, Chinese late model stamp type trigger assembly, which um, dropped right in. Um, you can see the original um, doesn't have the flat stamped piece in front. Um, there's also some other internal differences, but that's the one that really is visually striking. Um, got the, you know, you saw the, the bolt carrier swap out from last time. You'll note that there's a different stock on it on um, this go around. So this was the stock that was on it, and you can see it's a pot belly type. And then the other types, um, this is, um, like a transitional pot bellied and this is um i don't know a trimmed down pot belly i guess uh this one is not this is this is considered a spiker um as you can see by the milled out this, the thinner profile um the pot bellied one compared to the to the thinner one you'll see it has a different a different line i'm gonna go back through and watch the movie a few more times but um I think this is the variant that we wanted. Um, has a has a swivel. It's a little more slim in the wrist. It has the uh, the, the trim front end that should be easy to bolt to. This this actually would be the one that I would want to do the bolting on because it would be very straightforward to either um, just bolt things straight on there or mill that straight back at a nice even width so we could actually dovetail that front grip into it and then drill straight through to mount. Um, these, as you can see, because of the deep V, um, they're actually not as good for uh, for through bolting too. Um, not a lot of meat when pinched. Um, these, on the other hand, have a nice flat surface drill through, clamp against. Um, I mean, it makes sense. Um, yeah, you can tell this one has the, the correct location of the string, sling swivel. It had the, the correct uh, butt plate on it from the get-go. So I'll probably go back through and return the hardware to the original stocks that we had here. But uh, yeah, it seems to be coming along. Um, I'll verify, I gotta watch the movie. I'll do a verification of the location of the pins. Um, one thing I noticed is on this stock, that's not a pin, it's a screw, which I hadn't noticed. Um, but uh, yeah, there's that forward pin too. I, I'm not, I'm not 100% on this. It's gonna need to be held up to the screen and wiggled around and make sure that it that it all matches. But I feel like that's getting there. I mean, I, that's that's closer than. Closer than we've been before. Um, yeah. Um, oh, I found a note in the armorer's uh, description of how he built the SKS that he had, in fact, removed the rear sight. So I'm going to remove the rear sight from this uh, and then bolt the rail directly to the, uh, the little gas block there, which is going to be interesting, but... Um, it was definitely removed. I'm still trying to track down one of the Night Eater scopes. Um, harder, harder to find than one would expect. Um, there's a couple of guys on a couple of forums that that have bought them. Um, they're not they're not wonderful scopes. They haven't liked them very much. So if you know anybody that has one of the proper uh, Night Eaters, um, I'm interested in picking one up. Uh, what else? That's, that's pretty much it. This is a this is a very quick update. Um, I got to try to track down the rail uh, assemblies that they used. There's a there's a particular type of rail, and then the rear the rear peep sight. Um, I'm gonna after we do the verification video, going through and double checking that the stocks are the correct stocks. I'm gonna start doing a layout. Um, for making the forward hand grip and thinking about uh, 
you know, mounting hardware. Um, and then I'm probably going to get a, a different rear uh, cover that's more um, exposed metal. This is a little too pretty and too too lit -y. Um So, you know, this is sort of an exercise in how to turn a, uh, a nice Russian SKS into a cheap Chinese SKS and, you know, spend twice the money in the process. Um, but that said, when it's done, it's going to be exactly right. Um, exactly. So that's, uh, sort of where things stand at the moment. Not a ton of progress, but, uh, you know, it's, uh, when you're recreating somebody else's work, it's not a matter of just going through the junk bin and pulling out some stuff and making it look cool for the movie. It's, well, what stuff did he have in his junk bin? And let's try to, let's get six different ones so that we can verify which one it actually was. Um, yeah, that's, uh, that's where we're at. So I'll, uh, keep cracking on this and, uh, hopefully the next video will be this, uh, either a side by side comparison of the stocks or a, um, a thing saying, Hey, look, I found the rail section that I needed or the scope or something of that nature. Um, slow progress, steady progress. This is one that I'm particularly excited to go shooting. So let's, uh, get on it. Have a good one, guys. All right. Bye.